Hey everybody, welcome back to Left Paw Gaming. Today we've got some more of my walkthrough footage of Final Fantasy 16. Last video, it was Clive versus Benedicta as Garuda. And then Clive turned into Ifrit, finally solving all the issues of who the fire dominant that killed his brother was. This video, we face the fallout of that, and then we have to go and save Gav. Let's jump in. What do we got here? Sometime later. Bellinus Tour. Odin. Oh. Odin the dominant. King is bold. Or the icon. Desperate. Will you engage him personally, Your Highness? Of course. So he's gonna fight Odin. Grigor's breath fill your wings. Yo, is that Bahamut? Vaporizing the army. Where's he going? Okay, the fight's just done. Coming in to take a break. It's like, I'm tired. We formed the cohorts. At what? Your Highness. What is this? It's getting word of something. Saboteurs. Their attacks are frequent and widespread, even in the holy capital. The capital. What of my father? His is radiance he... is safe. But he has ordered the city guard strengthened. We can expect no reinforcements. Interesting. It is of no matter. The emperor's safety is paramount. I shall deal with our enemies here. Heading back out. <laughs> he for real did just take a quick break. It's like sometime later, watch Bahamut take a nap. <laughs> like what? Who's it? Is this Clive? Why is he chained up? It was me. They stripped him full on naked, huh? Ah, you're oh awake. my god. Yeah, just full of surprises. First that trick with Garuda, then whatever the hell that other thing was. Didn't know you had it in you. <laughs> Neither did he. Do his. Hey. Kill me. <laughs> It was me. I killed him. I killed Joshua. I killed them all. I'm a monster. And I deserve to die. So he 
He just straight rocked him. He said, you better right, settle down. Take it, if that's what you want. But first, I thought I'd give you the benefit of my timeless wisdom. It seems to me, you see, that since you're still breathing, you might as well make yourself useful. Get dressed. Pretty as you are, you're not my type. <laughs> Good God. I'll uh, see you in the hole. You know, it must be pretty mind-bending for Clive that he's been hunting this specific fire dominant just to find out that it's been him the whole time. How do you... Uh... How do you deal with that, you know? Like, I guess we gonna find out, though. <laughs> Trudging along. What are you going to do now? I'll do something good, and that's what you could do. The wages... Of guilt, a new mission. Certain times are in the game that side quests will become unavailable. Oh, okay. Well, why does that matter right now? May as well hear what he has to say. So we took a look at a couple shops real fast, and now we're actually talking to Sid. Finally crawled out of the crypt, eh? You look like it. <laughs> Although I thank you for doing us the courtesy of covering up. Don't. <laughs> well, still have a bit of fight left in you? Then listen. I've arranged a meeting with Gav. In case you've forgotten, you're the one he's been putting his nose to work for. For yeah. nothing. That's true. Oh my god. Just listen. While you've been relaxing in your cell, Gav's been busy sniffing out your dominance. And according to his last report, he's picked up the scent. Gav's gone to a fair bit of trouble for you. The least you can do is hear the poor bugger out. So he's then, going to meet who... us at the King's Fall. Pack your stuff. We'll leave as soon as you're ready. Who have we been seeing? Like, who's the hooded fire person that we were chasing at Lost Wing and the Care? Talk to Karen. Let's get out of here. <laughs> On to some other things here. I feel like it's been pretty slow moving since we've been in. Been in the hideaway here. Yes, the world map. That's where we need to go. All those are blocked off. Because only the King's Fall matters. I thought I let go too soon. <laughs> Just did a weird, a weird noise for us. And Torgal, the gang's back together again. Not so long ago, this here was a thriving trade route. Then the blight came. The people left. And just like that, it was deserted. Making it the perfect little shortcut. <laughs> Always Gavin shortcuts. Come on. Always shortcuts for him, man, I swear. <laughs> Every time we go somewhere, he's talking about some shortcut. Still feeling sorry for yourself? Don't. Please. Think about it, Clive. The rumors all point to... Oh, what was he gonna say? That was an Imperial signal. They shouldn't be here. The old fort's been abandoned for years. Our little chat can wait. I need to see what the bastards are up to. You go on ahead and meet up with Gab. 
But we both know that no buts about it. Sid's gonna pull him back up. Sid is gonna be the main reason. And if anything happens to Sid in this game, Clive's gonna lose his absolute mind. <laughs> I, I guarantee it. And if anything happens to Sid, I bet Clive will take Ramu's power. What? Another mission? Didn't we just have one? After it. Oh, that's nice. We can treat our pup. Did we just start a new mission? I'm the dominant of fire. We sent Gav on a wild goose chase. Yeah, you did. You sent Gav out in search of her. A dominant fire, and you're a dominant fire. <laughs> Let's take out these black widows. Child play, give me something tough. New enemies approach, okay. I wonder if new enemies approaching are part of the engagement or randomized. Because I mean, I wouldn't be upset if this happened pretty much every fight at least once. Pump up the experience that we gain, you know? I don't know, that's just me. Especially on enemies that we can demolish so quickly. Gain a bunch of fast experience there. Where are we even supposed to go? What now? I definitely heard that growl if that's what you're referring to, Clive. Oh my god. Look at this guy. He's Minotaur esque. Oh, he straight up is a Minotaur. Alright. Minotaur, Minotaur, how are you going to say it? My god, he smacked me. Let's go. A mid stagger. Dodge move. Come on now. So close. Stagger. Get him there. There we go. There we go. The many claws attack. The multiplier goes up real fast when I use that. Move. I really need to bust that out and then my Phoenix moves. Ooh, come on. Oh, not today. Whirlwind of an ass beat right there. <laughs> oh, my God. There we go. He's about done. Oh, oh, we're about done. Good lord. That's good. There we go. Enemy slain. 1250 money. We haven't spent like a a dime. Minotaur main. Interesting. I like the scenery around here. <laughs> Straight to a nest of bloodthirsty beasts. Why are you getting mad at Sid, man? He's just trying to make things go faster for us. <laughs> It'd be more exciting. <laughs> Sid's out here trying to have fun. Can't be much further now. Can't drop that one. 
still going this way. More spiders. Black Widow. Get him. Sick of Toggle. That's enough. He just booted that one. <laughs> that was awesome. Let's go, let's go. That, doesn't he? Is that another mental? Oh my god, and we're not even healed up. I was thinking that same thing. It was so fast. Got a little bit of experience. The ability points, the blue ones, those are important. We need a lot of those to put more, um, to swap out iconic abilities and to boost them. All the, every ability in the game has the unlock and then the mastery. And the mastery is kind of expensive. What are you doing, Clive? See, he's telling you, cross the dang bridge. What is it, boy? After him! Don't let him escape! Gaff! Ooh, he's in trouble. Who goes there? This one's a deserter. Take his head! Out of my way. You made your choice. Damn right I did. Don't be your healer first. He's done. Now you guys have nothing. Except me. Sick of toggle. He's down. This dude's about to be down. And one more. Ooh, the deadly embrace. 
to the Garuda Claw pull in. Oh, another one of these knights? Oh, and this? Okay. How they all know that he's a deserter from that far away? Yes. Pulverize. Clive, what's the situation? You're late. Comes in trouble. What? The Imperials are on his tail. We have to get to him before they do. Understood. I'm here to even the odds. Any objections? I'll take the dragon. Here we go. Take the dragoon. This time. Night of the Dying Sun. There, boy. Get rid of the dragon first, anyway. I'm not gonna adjust my my lock on whoever Clive goes to is who we're just gonna fight. Especially because the dragon's about done. Don't have a need to keep juggling. There we go. Now it's just him. A little low on health still. He's <laughs> just gonna keep using potions. And then stagger. experience for him and a lot of money finally a lot of experience and money at the same time <laughs> up to 19 the usual things come on on to gav why is it <laughs> why is it every time after a fight the little post-fight cutscene is just Clive just breathing heavy and <laughs> putting his sword away or something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Shit! Oh, what a move, Torval. And 
and they were all cinematically dealt with. Oh my. He's just dangling. Oh, that's his hurt arm. Not this time. Saved. <laughs> and what's the word, Gav? doesn't have your nose, I said. He'd stumble off a cliff, I said. Well, that's a trouble with a nose like mine. Can't help sticking it where it's not wanted. <laughs> but if it wasn't for you two, my sniffing deers would be over. Thank you. Truly. <laughs> so, what news? Well, I uh, found out where your friend's heading, for one thing. Gav. I... Him and his mate are on their way to your old stomping ground, Rosaria. You should have seen what they did to the Imperials who tried to stop them. There's no question about it. He's a dominant fire, all right. He can't be. Clive, I saw you turn into an icon before my very eyes. And yes, there's a good chance it was you who killed the Phoenix. But we weren't alone, were we? It was the fellow you saw enter the whirlwind. Yeah, exactly. I, I saw him too. Yes. You didn't dream it, Clive. He's out there. But who is he? Don't ask me. I don't bloody know. <laughs> That's why we gotta well, keep I do searching. Know one thing. You're gonna find him and find out. After all, you swore an oath. What? You swore you'd avenge your brother's death. That you'd never rest until you'd hunted down the man responsible. So? Find out if this man's responsible, and kill yourself if he's not. Oh my god. Sid, I... Don't thank me. Thank Gav. <laughs> Gav's like, don't put me in the middle of this. Thank you, Gav. Another smirk out of him. Oh, here they are. No birds returning this year. The deadlands have swallowed their roosts, like as not. We're running out of time. We'll be in Rosaria in a day or two. Who are these two, man? <laughs> Back to where it all began. She's going to Rosaria and it's where it all began. This has to be Joshua. Ooh, I got chills. I was right. <laughs> he must be stopped. Who's the he? All right, guys. We're going to cut this video off right there. A little bit mind-blowing at the end there, right? I just got done re-watching this segment again so I could edit it, and it's like, I kind of forgot <laughs> that that's Joshua popping out there, heading back to Rosaria. But how does Clive get there? When does Joshua and Clive meet up? Who is Joshua saying he? Who's the he that Joshua is saying that must be stopped? To find out all that, you have to come back and join us in the next video. So as usual, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.